Okay, so what I have here is a set of Mackie CR3 speakers. Um, when I turn on the power and then turn the little green knob on the front for volume, I wasn't getting any sound. So the common fix that I've seen on forums is that people would either jam in a cable into the headphone input jack and get it in and out and in and out and in and out and it would get the sound the trigger because it's something to do with the uh, amplifier chip so that didn't work for me so what the other recommendation that people had was to open up the main one and when you look in it's hard to see because of the poor light So when you look in, if you look at that black chip there, you cut, it's pin number five, but when you, when you, when you uh, open it up, if you see the one that's obviously cut, it's in the middle. I cut that and now the sound works. So what I'll do, I'm doing this one-handed, naturally. Put that back up. To here, plug in the aux. Turn the power on. again. So all I had to do is cut pin number five, but when you're looking in towards the heat sink, it's, it's, it's the third visible pin. So you just cut that with a set of clippers, and then your crappy CR3s, which die after a year, should work again. Uh, apparently these, these things don't last very long in general. So I wouldn't recommend buying them, but if you made the mistake of buying them, same thing with the CR4s, and you don't want to spend more money buying a new set of speakers, at least temporarily, just clip that pin, and it'll work. Hopefully this helped you out.